Hey everyone, this is Josh with Josh Wright Piano TV. Today I'm coming to you from beautiful Park City, Utah. And before today's video, I just wanted to quickly announce the three latest VIP Masterclass Series videos. If you're interested in subscribing, just click on the link in the description below. The three latest videos, uh, the first one comes from Nigel this past week, all about chord clarity, how you can really get effective uh, clarity when you're playing broken chords and blocked chords. The one before that was requested by David called Pushing the Envelope, how you can effectively push your speed up without sacrificing quality. And then the, th uh, the one before that was requested by Mitchell and it's called the Collapsing Beat Exercise. It's a special trick to help you increase the tempo uh, and speed in your scales. Now on to today's video. Hi everyone, today's video is a review and a small tutorial about one of my favorite products, uh, the Yeti Silver Edition by a company called Blue. And I'm recording into the Yeti right now so you'll hear the sound quality. Right now I have it set to cardioid which is the third one over but it's a multi-patterned microphone. I can't remember what the far left uh, pattern is but they also have Omni, Cardioid, and Figure 8. And to be honest all I ever really shoot with is or record with is cardioid because it's a directional microphone. Some musicians like uh, omnidirectional. I tend to like cardioid. It's a more direct microphone. They, it has a gain button on the back. It has um, the blue logo here on the front. And by the way, it's going to be recording in this direction. So um, if you're setting it to the side of the piano, make sure that this is pointed this way and that it's not tilted like that. A lot of students point it straight and actually the, the microphone feeds in right there. And it has a volume button if you want to do in-ear monitoring with headphones. It has a really nice stable bass. And I usually set it over to the side when I do piano recordings. Um, so the small tutorial, by the way, I've linked it below if you would like to purchase it on Amazon. I think uh, over the past four or five years, I've seen it go anywhere from 99 bucks to 129. Um, so I think the last time I checked it was about 110, but I'm not exactly sure. So it's in that price range. I think it's just an incredible microphone for that price, by the way. I had a Sterling microphone and an Apogee One um, interface, and then that's about a $500 setup uh, with the cables and everything that, um, that you got to get with it. And then this is just a USB microphone, and this was so much better than that other microphone. So I just it's so easy, it's perfect for home recordings. Now, I will do a future video on my professional setup, which is an Apollo Twin with AKG 414 um, number twos, which are amazing, but that setup's like $3,000. So uh, for 100 bucks, you're not going to beat this. So just a couple little things. Um, before you get started, you just wanna go into your system preferences if you're on a Mac then you select sound and you want that to be the input and then the output you want your external speakers or your headphones or whatever else you have. Beyond that, uh, what I like to do is I will go into my sound settings and I think I have it set pretty low right now but what I'll do is I'll watch the meter, the sound meter, and I'll just play some loud chords. Well, it is getting a little hot. I might turn it down just a touch. I never like to have it distort. If you don't mind a little distortion, you can turn the microphone way up, but then again, you're gonna sacrifice um, that pure sound quality. You can always adjust it up later to a degree. You don't wanna <laughs> do it on mute, basically. But uh, let's try this again. So I'm going to the second to last bar. So I'm getting pretty close to the full microphone extent when I'm playing the piano. Uh, and by the way, the piano is one of the most annoying instruments to mic because it's just so loud compared to your voice. A lot of people have said on my old videos um, where I was just uh, shooting and I didn't set the sound settings very carefully, is they said, I can barely hear your voice and I, and I can hear the piano way too loud. Well, first of all, you need to plug in headphones. But it is kind of an annoying instrument to mic. You may have to go through if you want a really consistent video and turn your voice up at every point. I'm not gonna do that so you can hear the difference today. And I'm not gonna do that in my other videos because I'm too lazy. <laughs> it takes forever. And you also get inconsistencies in the sound unless you're really careful. So I just, I just leave it on. I get it as hot as I can without distorting the sound. So let me play a little something for you guys. Um, I have a whole concert that I'm 
uh, got in my mind right now. I'm playing in Florida in, t in a week and a half. Uh, let me play a little bit of Fourth Ballade by Chopin. Very soft stuff, and then I'll play some of the coda. I should have thought of that before demonstrating the coda of the fourth blood. Uh, let's play a little bit of something uh, by Liszt, uh, Liebestrom. <laughs> I need to work a little on the memory there. Um, and th let's do some really rambunctious stuff like the uh, List Rhapsody number two, which I'm also playing on the concert. Let's see. Let's start just, let's just do the last part. <laughs> And if it did, good, because then you can hear what distortion sounds like in the microphone. So uh, I highly recommend this product. Again, the links are below. If you have any questions about it, let me know. My email is josh at joshwrightpiano.com. I will also do a more in-depth tutorial in the future where I do kind of like a screen flow type thing where I record my screen and show you how I edit different pieces together, because that's a very handy tool. If you have if you're paying a hundred bucks an hour for a studio and or just like a concert hall to record and you want to do your own recordings and you have uh, you know limited resources you don't want to be there all day trying to get the one perfect take it's very helpful to uh, be able to edit two pieces together or three or four sections together so um, make sure uh, if you haven't already if I would love if you could subscribe to my channel you can also check out some videos that will appear next to me here Thank you so much for your uh, time and your dedication to my channel. I enjoy talking to each of you so much uh, via email. Also, thank you to all of those who have donated, who have supported the Pro Practice series, and also the VIP Masterclass series. I'm having an absolute blast with that. Thank you so much. Have a great week.